Good morning, welcome back to the channel. A nice bright Monday morning, or starting to. It's getting a bit lighter in the morning now, but uh, not a lot. Anyway, we're off leading mushroom compost this morning. Yeah, we've just got to uh, drop a low loader off and uh, pick a trailer up. We'll, uh, we'll uh, be away, keep warm. There's Derek, he's got the other trailer on. We're all set to go. here again keep shifting it regular yeah, it shifted to the field so it's ready for spreading the load we're off again looks extremely well the crops say they're coming out well still middle of winter too good in fact each load of uh, mushroom compost we take off the concrete base where we're putting over the weigh bridge so we can keep track of exactly how much we're putting on each field so uh, we're just calling in at the minute and we'll weigh this load off and uh, I'll show you how it goes. Yeah it's accurate because uh, the lorries bring it in and they're filled up but they don't, they don't get the weight on so they don't really know how much they're bringing it's on the approximate but uh, we know to the ton what they brought uh, when we uh, weigh it off that's it we'll see what, what's happening sometimes it weighs fairly light other times it's uh, fairly heavy Again. And all these 
these fields are covered spring barley. But, uh, these haven't got a cover crop in them. So they're having mushroom compost. So uh, it will make them grow. All being well. Here we are at the heap. Shut tailgate. It comes down. Set so tailgate shut and float. Yeah, you press that button, move forward, backwards. Press it again, goes forward. Yeah, really good having it on your spool valve. Leave it like that. Back in, weighing in. That's my uh, unladen weight. Uh, we'll see what we can do. So I want crop, so I'll enter in, biomass, um, customer, that's L's, L's, registration, uh, they're all in alphabetical order, so I'll go to the last one, and mine is it's YX, so it's there, and we're all set, first way in, job's a good one, bringing to life, good having a way breach. You can uh, record everything that's going on and off the farm. There we go. Ticket. 14.90. Leave that there when we come back. In the uh, wood chip per house up for the biomass boiler. I'll book it in. It's in. Tipped in the shed down here and then bucketed it round. I've been delivered with a lorry load. Still down at the canthus fields, we've got any uh, hedge lines removed, what we needed to, or trimmed down should I say, and the obstructions removed, and uh, we're just on with the uh, diking now. This is one of the main dikes between uh, two of the fields, so we're just giving it a really good trim, pulling the banks back, and uh, making it so it's uh, good for another few years yet. Just on with pulling the uh, dike banks back here to make it a nice slope because over the years they've got uh, a steep fall on them away from uh, where the dike is. So they want pulling back to a nice angle so they uh, don't slip in. Also we're trying to find some old, uh, some old drains. That you might be wondering why I've got the uh, boom swirled round like this. Well, the answer is easy to that one because uh, visibility into the dike is a lot better to the bottom of the dike bank so I can see exactly what's happening.
give satisfaction to the job that is. I found a sub that's been uncovered that I've seen the light of day for years and it's running. It, uh, we've started a new dike. The actual pipe would have been level with the water. Looking at it. So, uh, yeah, I feel we're doing a good job. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Video Diary in the Farm. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that uh, like, share and especially subscribe button. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you again next week. Thanks for watching.